Not me waiting the last minute to get my clothes ready with my permethrin spray. Definitely not me. <laughs> Definitely me. Somebody left his post of guarding my gear and my food inside. He's been sitting there guarding it and pouting, waiting for me to throw some of his food or some of his gear into it. Oh, you're not pouting? No? I think you are. You still are. Anyways, um, I'll take you guys inside next and show you the food that I have laid out for me for five to six-ish days. I uh, anticipate on getting from Chief Mountain to East Glacier, roughly 90 miles. It takes me a while to get an appetite on trail. Um, so I think this is a bit of an overkill for food supply for me, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I don't know how this trail is going to hit me. So packing a little extra than I think I'll need. And if worse comes to worse and I am blowing through it, it's a national park. There are stops along the way to East Glacier where I can stop in and grab some extra snacks. I'm not going to be out of luck. I won't be foraging in the woods. So I'm going to show you the food. I'll show you my backpack. And then I'll come back out here and show you guys the clothes I sprayed and my shoes. I'm in the laundry room right now, <laughs> hiding from my dog. <laughs> He's uh, being very, very, very um, definition of pout right now. Uh, I'm packing all of my stuff. He's come to smell it, and it's none of his stuff. So he's very, very sad right now. So it's making me sad. And if I were doing my video and he weren't here, he'd be all up in my lap. And I have a lot going on. I just want to show you, get it over with, and then go spend time with him and Josh. Um, because it's Josh's birthday. And I leave tomorrow, and I'm literally 24 hours out from my train departing from Seattle. So, literally miss procrastination right here. <laughs> so let's get back. This first clip here is going to show my big four. What we have here is my enlightened equipment, zero degree revelation regular but wide quilt. I went with a zero degree because I do sleep colder than most and I wanted to go wide because when I hike with Buddy I want him to be able to sleep with me because he refuses to sleep on his own and I'm not about to compromise my comfort for him to sleep in my bag and have me out of it. So we also have my Thermarest Neo Air X Lite air pad and my Z Lite Soul foam pad and a Thermarest pillow, which is new to the game. I typically don't sleep with a pillow, but I've been having some shoulder issues and it weighs pretty much nothing. So it kind of is like, why not? You know, I'd rather just have it just in case. And if I don't use it and it's not working out for me, I can just mail it home or find a hacker box or someone in need of it. And lastly is the z Pax Duplex in Spruce Green. That is the one I took on the PCT. It's still in bang and shape and traveled the entire PCT and all the backpacking trips in between then and now. So she's still kicking and she might even just make it through the whole Triple Crown. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. All right, next up we have my cook system and it's actually a cook system this time. Uh, if you followed me along on the PCT, you know that I was a diehard cold soaker but I'm going to give it a go this time and see if I like it. And if I don't, I can just mail it home. Not a big deal. I'll just go eat a jar of gelato and force myself to get done with it so I can then cold soak the rest of the way to Mexico. Anyways, I'm going with a jet foil stash. I'm only taking the stove and I dialed it down on the pot because I feel like the pot is just too big for what I'm going to be cooking. So I'm going to take the 500 milliliter Tokes pot that you see up above. It comes with a hot sleeve to protect it from being in my pack. If it's like a quick breakdown situation and I just need to throw a hot pot in my pack, I can protect my gear. I'm also going to be bringing a lightweight orange cup pictured above so that if I have oatmeal and I have coffee in the morning, I don't have to choose between the two. I can have my cake and eat it too. And I also have a Yuko spoon and fork combo on the left. It has a Cool little bungee feature. Hopefully I don't lose it, but likely I will because that's just how the universe works. And a little big lighter. I also cut a microfiber towel that I can just use to kind of rinse the pot in a 
lake or stream down river to try to just keep things a little bit more hygienic. And down below we have the Ursac Major XL. That guy carries about seven days of food for one person, um, but I'll be putting one of those oak sack, lo lope sack uh, odor bags inside of it as well, so that way we can keep the odor down in addition to keeping it bear proof with that Ursac. Next up, let's dive into these ditty bags I have from Granite Gear. They sent me these things to kind of coordinate, hopefully, easy to find items in my pack that I can kind of consolidate into their own bag based on their color. So blue I'm using for my hydration system, green I'm using for my electronics, and purple I'm using for my first aid and hygiene stuff. So let's dive into those guys. Like I said, my blue bag will be my hydration bag just kind of, you know, fits. So I'll be keeping my Sawyer filter in there with my Canuck 2 liter Ecto bag. And my green bag has all the electronics. So from the top, we'll start with the Nightcore New 25 rechargeable headlamp. That guy is quite bright. I like it a lot better right now, at least, <laughs> more so than my bio lights I've been using. I've been using two different kinds and just not happy with how well the batteries hold up and locking and unlocking it is a little bit of a hassle. I can never remember it. It's not intuitive. I just, I don't care for it. So I'm excited to get this night core out on trail and see how it performs and lasts between towns with charges. And then I have a cheap pair of earbuds up there in blue. I have my 26,800 uh, whatever units for my power bank. It also has a three port quick charge wall charger. So when I get to town, I can get that guy charged back up pretty quickly. I have three cords down there. One charges my Garmin watch, my instinct, and then another one charges my headlamp and the cheap little earbuds. And then my other one is the lightning cable for my iPhone. Lastly is my luxury item of trail, which is my Thermarest sleeping pad pump. <laughs> and in purple is my first aid and my hygiene kit. I have up top my eyeglasses, a contact case, extra contacts, and a cloth inside to clean my glasses. In the Ziploc baggie, I have band-aids, rock tape, an extra Sawyer o-ring for my filter, nail clippers, AAA batteries, toothpick flossers, and I think that's it. I think there's an antiseptic wipe and an alcohol wipe for cleaning, a scrape if that happens. And then of course, toothpaste and a toothbrush. Up top we have my lucky trekking poles. I also have my bear spray ready to go and a holster I'll carry around my waist. I have some Zero Trail sandals. This is gonna be new this time, different from the PCT. Cut took them on a couple hikes and I'm pretty happy with them. So I think they will be a good addition and they weigh like nothing. Then we have my Garmin inReach and we have some micro spikes we'll be taking in the event that we cross some snow or some icy patches in the morning time. It'll just make it easier to move more quickly when you get some grip on the train. Drum roll for the unpacking of the feminine hygiene bag, aka bathroom go bag, aka nature calls or ant flows in town. God help us all. <laughs> And also my fanny pack. I'll show you what I put in there. Okay, here's a little trick for you guys. A little tip. Do not risk getting your ass eaten by mosquitoes and bugs. Do yourself a favor. Put a little thing of bug spray in your bathroom go bag. So that when you go to the bathroom, if you're in bug territory, you're in Mosquitoville. When you drop trowel, spray your ass. You will thank me later. Do your business. Make sure if you're going number two, use that deuce trowel or another trowel, something to dig the recommended depth. Do your business. Wipe it up with a wet wipe. Put that dirty wet wipe in a trash bag, an empty Ziploc baggie that you can pack out into town to throw away. And then clean your hands with some hand sanitizer. Please do all the above. And then lastly, if Aunt Flo's in town, I pray to God she ain't coming. She wasn't there on the PCT. But in case she shows up, I do have a diva cup. I will be ready. In my fanny, I have an assortment of drugs inside that Benadryl bottle. There's Benadryl, there's Tylenol, there's Tylenol PM, ibuprofen, 
there's also melatonin and a Xanax because sometimes you just need a Xanax to get through the day. And the clip that's inside my fanny pack is attached to a Bluetooth remote I can use to take pictures and videos easily with my phone. And there's also SPF for lips and for my skin. Lips are super important for me because I once had a moment where I did not bring SPF chapstick and I immediately regretted it because the next three days, I think, that followed, I looked like I had abused and overused a Kylie Jenner lip kit and I learned my lesson the hard way. <laughs> so, 15 in my Blistex, 30 in my Banana Boat. This is a layout of clothes that I anticipate to be wearing sometimes, but for the most part, I think they're gonna be in my pack. So up top, we have my Arcteryx Norvin SL rain jacket which is performing quite well in the test runs coming up to the CBT. It kept my puffy that you see down below, that nano puff, completely dry in downpours. I also have a Carhartt beanie hat from Used Gear UST. I also have some lightweight gloves from Head. My fingers get quite cold. I can't go without gloves pretty much all year round. So even in the summer. <laughs> They are coming with me. They are also touch friendly for screens, so that's really important since I'll be using Gut Hook needing to navigate. There's also a pair of Patagonia underwear. I go commando when I hike, however, if my shorts are drenched and I get to camp, I want to get out of my wet clothes as quickly as possible and warm up, and I can just slip on those underwears and they can look like they're bikini bottoms. I really don't care, rather than just be butt naked at camp. I also have some socks down below. I'm taking three pairs. That will be one pair I'll be hiking in. Mainly will be those darn tufts in the middle. In the event that I get some hot spots or some blisters, it's really important for me to get my feet into in gingies. They're most happy in those when I have hot spots. Separate those toes and keep the skin from rubbing together. And um, at night, like I said, I get quite cold, so I need some socks to sleep in. So I'm gonna be taking some smart wool socks there on the left to keep my feet nice and toasty at night. So this is what my five to six day first resupply looks like to get me roughly 90 miles. Over here we have breakfast. I'm looking at doing peanut butter and jelly tortillas in the morning with some coffee, some bars here to get me by until snack time, which will consist of cheddar pretzels, a sweet and spicy trail mix. I have an assortment of candy, of course, to include Skittles from my good friend Hannah. I also have some teriyaki turkey jerky. Um, lunch will also consist of, you guessed it, peanut butter and jelly tortillas, um, some more chips, trail mix, snacks to get me through, and bars until dinner, which will consist of garlic and herb couscous with some wild pink salmon, which I'm pretty happy with the nutritional facts on this guy. Don't mind the expiration date. Uh, I think that's just a suggestion, you know, best used, not you're going to die if not used by. So that's a chance I'm willing to take. That's my five to six-ish day resupply. Plus we'll be going through areas that will allow us to pick up snacks. So I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, I think I'm a little bit overboard, but better to be safe than sorry. Someone's been pouting a little bit with me packing. So gonna butter them up with some kibble and some steak droppings and a little bit of cheese. As promised, we're gonna take a look at the clothes I have up here drying from the Prometrin spray provided by Sawyer Products. Uh, the only thing that's not up here that I'll be wearing typically while I hike is gonna be the CDT buff. They don't recommend spraying articles of clothing that are considered inner clothing. So caps, underwear of like spraying the inside kind, um, inside of the sports bras, don't spray the inside of the sports bras. The first thing up is the Melanzana Melly Microgrid Fleece, very popular choice among through hikers. I love mine and will probably be getting another one when I go through Leadville. Athleta 5 inch biker shorts that have dual pockets on the outsides for, you guessed it, obviously snacks. Almond butter on one side, graham crackers on the other. I have a thrifted outdoor research t-shirt. I don't know who got rid of this thing, but I would love to thank them personally. 
This guy weighs, I think, like two and a half ounces. It's really lightweight, dries really fast, and it's a really cool, bright color. Lastly, I don't need a whole lot of coverage on top or support. I'm not really that well endowed. My stature can get away with pretty much the bare minimum. <laughs> so I'm going with a Calvin Klein bralette that I wear quite often um, in my day-to-day -day life. And I've done it while hiking too, so this is what's going to work for me on trail. It may not work for you, but we're all different. That's what's so amazing about us. I'll show you guys the shoes next. All right, these are the Solomon Odysseys. They are super comfortable. This is my third generation I've had since getting off the PCT, and I've put in quite a bit of miles on the former two generations. They typically come with traditional laces, so they have a bit of a wider, more generous toe box fit. Um, but I still like the bungee laces. I still like to not have to worry about if my laces are coming in tied, that sort of thing. So I went ahead and just started getting into putting these cheap little laces I get from Amazon, and I love them. Um, they're super cheap, but they ask, they last the entire length of the shoe. I've never had to change them mid-shoe. The shoe blows out before I can change laces, so they're pretty legit. And I also have Superfeet Trails in there as well. I've been wearing them for about a month now, uh, two months now. Um, they are super, super comfortable. Um, so I'm pretty excited to get those on trail, get some miles in them and see how they feel out there in the dirt. Um, apparently someone's done with dinner. I think he inhaled it. I don't even think he even tasted it. And he's now in the tent. So I think he's got the strategy of like, I won't notice, I'll just roll it up, be like nothing's even in there and take him to Glacier with me. <laughs> yeah, little does he know he's not going. So yeah, that does it for this first video. You saw what I'm gonna be taking on trail as far as gear, as far as my first stretch of food. And uh, next time you see me, I will be in Montana, I will be reunited with Julia, and I'll be meeting Gail, and we will be heading south on the CDT. So, until then, stay safe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.